What's up guys, Adam here. Welcome to AWGFC channel. Today we have something exciting. We got the footies unlockable. So this is going to be the path to unlocking Connor Plianka. Uh, so really excited to, to hopefully pick him up. As you may well be able to see, we, I made a bit of a boo-boo. I forgot to press record um, at the beginning. So this is kind of a little bit through game one. Uh, amateur mistake uh, so I do apologize um, I've left a little bit of like the team building and everything you can see which I'll talk through so you can just see the teams I've used uh, and the teams I've come up against but apologies for game one uh, it didn't go to plan so I can only apologize uh, uh, so apologies for that but uh, let's get straight into the gameplay right guys so this is a uh, this is what I was talking about here. We just saw a very late on uh, Obama Yang scoring uh, to make it 1-0. Um, and then it was a pretty tough game, this one. Um, and in the 72nd minute, Obama Yang picking up his second of the game to put us 2-0 up. Uh, so quite exciting uh, to see Obama Yang getting so many goals. Um, nice little uh, through ball from Vidal. And then bang, bottom left-hand corner. That's 2-0 in, in the 72nd minute. So... Um, we kind of move on here, uh, Modric uh, lays it off into Rakitic, Rakitic plays a lovely through ball into Bale um, and then Bale, can't. Bale doesn't cut the mustard there, uh, falls into Royce, Demarcus picks it back up again, back into Bale, Bale into Modric, Modric plays a nice through ball and Ruben Castro puts that in the back of the net. So it's 2-1 in the 90th minute. So a little bit worried, a little bit scared that I wasn't actually going to get through. Um, but we all we got to do now is really see it out. There can't be long left. So uh, just try and keep possession here and see what we can do. And, and for me, this tournament was really fun coming up against uh, the best of the best, really. So you had to be really... Uh, on your best form and as you can see there we we see out the game and uh, we pick up a nice 2-1 win uh, for the first game so we're going to move on to game two shortly uh, but I've kind of used two teams which you'll see in a minute and uh, that seems to be working really well for me they're quite expensive obviously you can have cheaper variations of them um, and you can probably see by the match stats rather quickly here that uh, we do kind of dominate that first game uh, but yeah, moving into kind of uh, the squads and you can kind of see uh, the kind of teams I built and, and what I was using. So this is the, the squad I used for the first game. Uh, just putting some uh, contract cards on there for the for the players that are run out. And, um, you know, it, this is kind of like the cheaper team. So I was using this for game one and using, you know, my better team for, for game two. So if I did get to the final, I'd have the best chance of winning. Um, so... With that in mind, I really struggled using Sane, which was one of the unluckable tournaments. He just wasn't really cutting the mustard for me. So I went and uh, picked up Bellarabi uh, for, I think it's about 1,600 coins, which is an absolute bargain. Um, you won't see him in the next game because I'm using the second squad, um, uh, but you will kind of see him contribute a little bit later on. So yes, I think 1,600 coins I pick him up for there with Hunter Chemistry. Yeah. So we pick up Bellarabi, we whack him into into the squad, and um, what we do is kind of get ready for game two, really. I did struggle, which I'm sure you'll see shortly, um, a little bit with my fullbacks. If you had some pacey wingers, I was really struggling to track them, things like that. So what I wanted to do uh, is make sure I set them stay back while attacking. So I'm pretty sure you'll see that shortly. But this is really sort of OP squad, this uh, Bundesliga team. Um, you know, and it is quite cheap to be fair, and there is cheaper alternatives um, for, for some of the, the better cards. Um, but we're just kind of uh, see how we go with it. This is, uh, you're going to see my second squad, which is kind of a Serie A La Liga hybrid, and this is quite an expensive team, uh, but this is the one I kind of wanted to use to, to, to progress. And, you know, if I do get in a final uses team and see what I can do with it. So you just see me putting uh, Bellarabi there on the on the bench to gain some fitness. And uh, here we are, guys. We're going to game two, quarter final. So uh, we'll see how we go. Uh, again, just want to say really enjoying this tournament. You only get 10 attempts at it. So uh, I think this, this was my actual first attempt. Uh, but 
I know it's going to get harder. And, and this was quite a, a tough game for me. He had Pogba up top, a pretty standard cheap Serie A team other than Paul Pogba in the striker position. And I thought, well, he hasn't got much pace. You know, I should be able to keep up with him and, and keep him at bay. But that just wasn't the case. Uh, you see here, um, you hear him knocking the ball around the back. Ilicic picking up the ball. Nice little play from him. Uh, for me... Felipe Melo, sorry, really struggled. Um, he's really good on the ball and plays this absolutely sublime ball into Pogba, smashes that in the top right hand corner. I find myself 1 0 down in the first five minutes. Pretty gutted, if I'm honest. Um, didn't think I really deserved to down, and I felt like I was dominating this game as the game went throughout. Um, and you'll see quite a lot of. Uh, Quite a lot of goals to be honest at, at the beginning of this game it was just one of those crazy games that it just all all happened at the beginning of the game so you can see Nangolin into Quadrado here uh, pulls the defender away tries to make some space slots into Nangolin saved by the keeper and Insigne is there to slot it home and, and, and that's what Insigne is perfect for really cheap player he has got four star skills but he just seems to be there all the time just mops everything up which is uh, ideal for me Got a bit lucky there, good save by the keeper and just drops down to Insigne, slots at home. So 1-0 uh, and that's 8 minutes in. Um, again, straight from kickoff here. Um, pick up the ball. Benyat into Nargolin. Nargolin takes a few on. Gets tackled. Pjanic picks up the ball. Insigne picks it up, slots it into Higuain. And he absolutely takes me out. Now, me personally, I thought this is, should have been a red card. It should have been off at this point. And I was thinking, yes, red card. You know, I've got to slot this penalty home. And, yeah, there it is, the red card. So this, I thought, would make the game really easy for me. But as you'll see later in the game, it didn't quite do that. But Higuain steps up, slots that home. So we're 2-1 up in the 12th minute. And I'm thinking, yes, 10 men down. We can go on. You know, we've guaranteed our, our spot in the semi-final. But this, uh, this game just wouldn't kind of ease up for me, really. Get a little bit lucky here. Keeper throws it out. Nangolin heads it down into Pjanic and absolutely smashes that one home uh, to make it 3-1 in the 17th minute. Absolutely sublime finish by Pjanic. And that's why I love the midfield of Pjanic and Nangolin. They're just long shots. are just insane. Uh, and they can win you games. So really exciting stuff uh, from Pjanic there. Just an absolute belter. And just stops, drags it back, sets himself and just smashes that one home. So that makes it 3-1 uh, in the 18th minute. Now, we're going sort of into the second half now. It went a little bit quiet after uh, all that drama at the beginning of the game. Does me with a stop and turn there. Slots it into Pogba. Pogba smashes that top left-hand corner. And we go down 3-2. Uh, so now I'm starting to worry a little bit. But you know, as long as I keep that one goal lead... You know, we're, we should be able to make it through. But Pogba was just causing all sorts of problems for me. Uh, and his finishing was just insane. As you can see here, sets himself. And uh, he blasts it top, uh, sorry, top left-hand corner. Um, straight after that, Insigne makes a, a nice little dart down the side here. Just trying to uh, slow things down and get my uh, players to come forward. Into Pjanic. Terrible pass. His Pjanic to back to my Pjanic. And into uh, Higuain here. And uh, tries to drag back, misses out. And uh, is it Insigne here, I think? No, Quadrado with the block. And then uh, into Higuain, he takes a shot, bounces all around. Insigne runs in and manages to slot it on home. So, again, really lucky. Uh, but Insigne just seems to be there when, when you need him the most, really. Just picks up the ball and slots that one home, makes it 4 2. So, again, I thought, right, 4 2, you know, I've got this now. Uh, and I should be progressing to the semi final. So, uh, a little bit later on in the game, a little bit just uh, further on from Insigne's goal. Pick up the ball here, slots it into Quadrado, and bang, slots that one home, makes it 5-2 uh, in the 70th minute. So quite an impressive performance, a little bit lucky with some of my chances, but overall, the, I thought they're definitely a better player, although Pogba was causing me all sorts of problems, which I didn't think he would in that striker position. But uh, Quadrado slots that one home, and it uh, looks like we're, we're, we're going to progress. And then we hit the 78th minute, uh, gets a throw in here. Insigne throws it in, do win the ball, lose the ball again. Zuniga here, plays it into Pogba, and there's his crazy finish and smashes that one home. 
into the top left hand corner so a little bit of pressure back on me here I was getting a little bit nervous again Pogba just causing me all sorts of problems and I think that's a hat trick for Pogba yeah that's a hat trick for Pogba so yeah just that uh, goes to show uh, how good he is in that striker position and then we hit the 81st minute Pogba here again dictating the play slots a crazy good ball into Salah and he chips on the keeper and makes a 5-4 in the 82nd minute so at this point I'm really starting to think oh, here we go. This is going to be, you know, comeback, uh, you know, of the season. I was panicking a little bit. I was panicking, but luckily, guys, that's how it ended. It finished 5-4. Uh, and as you can see, it was quite a tight game. Although I had more shots on target, uh, it, it was a close game. So moving on to that, guys. Again, I think this is a bit I mentioned earlier where I was struggling down the wings a little bit. So I kind of messed around with my play instructions, got them to stay back while attacking because uh, they were a little bit out of position at times and uh, uh, those Ramos and uh, as a Zapata there are quite pacey and can keep up with it it was just putting added pressure on me so uh, I just swapped that around and again for fitness reasons swap back to my uh, Bundesliga team and uh, hopefully use my more overpowered team if we get to that final so um, just going to play around with the team there and then we should move on to uh, game number three, which is semi-final, guys. So this is the team we come up against. He's got a uh, full Man United team. Depay, Marshall, McTarian, Schweinsteiger, Rooney, Herrera, Shaw. Uh, the new transfer defender, I can't remember off the top of my head. Smalling, Darmian. And um, I was thinking, well, hello, you know, full Man United team. Could be a nice, easy game here. So we get into the gameplay. I pick up the ball here in the, in the 15th minute into Royce, Royce has a pop, doesn't seem to get through, Yunusovic cuts inside, great save by De Gea, gets super lucky with the rebound and he slots that one home, makes it 1-0 in the 15th minute. And Yunusovic for uh, a cheap inform is absolutely brilliant, his regular card is really good but I'd highly recommend spending the uh, the extra few thousand on his, um, on his inform. Great player, really strong, great defending, great passer and he's got a shot on him as well with a little bit of pace. So. Uh, as you can see here in the, in the 40th minute, Kalanogu picks up the ball, uh, plays into Bellarabi, Bellarabi plays into Bamiyang, and Bamiyang with that pace is always going to win that. Gets really unlucky there, hits the post, Junuzovic is there to pick the ball up and slot that one home and makes it 2-0. So two goals for him, really good performance in this game uh, from everyone all round, and I think a 2-0, yes, here we go, we've made it to the final guys, so really, really happy about um you know, having a shot to get this Conor Plianka card. And uh, just a, a nice finish there from Zinozovic. Always struggle with that name too, so apologies. Um, and we move on. Guys, there is some more goals in this game. Oh, I think there is. Um, get a free kick here. Pop it into the box. Gets a header. De Gea saves it. Throws a terrible out straight to Boateng and look at that for a finish from my centre Matt Boateng blasts that one top left hand corner and I don't know what he was thinking about here but I was absolutely ecstatic I'll take the nice easy 3-0 win so that was perfect for me um, and we move on here Leonard blasts one up um, and basically get a little bit lucky with some rebounds Bellarabi picks up the ball into Royce, back to Bellarabi, and that's why I got Bellarabi in the team, guys. At first, uh, uh, on his debut, smashing that one home in the bottom left-hand corner, and uh, I was just missing that from Sane. I just really struggled um, to get him on his left foot uh, and get past people who's getting pushed off the ball quite a lot. Uh, Bellarabi coming up big for us there, and, and, and at this point, um, this guy had enough. 4 nil was enough, so he rage quit and uh, in, in the first half which is ideal, so we progress through to the final. Uh, nice 4 nil win there, as you can see, it was utter domination. Strange team name, she was only 12, I didn't really want to ask, but they come up against this guy, he's got a full French team, and he's won the Gonalons uh, in the French Liga 1 tournament, so I was a little bit, um, little bit worried, if this guy's obviously a decent player, and this game, guys, oh my god, it was laggy as hell, I made a massive mistake there, real early on I just don't know what I was thinking about but uh, the lag was getting to me I was really struggling as you can see it's, it's jittering and jumping around all over the place and I was really struggling with it in the first half and, and I was making some silly mistakes but look at this for a second goal guys again laggy as hell um, 
plays the ball over the top. Uh, pick it up here with Ramos. Runs forward, but he collects the ball. Again, just playing super balls, but look at that for a ball. And Benzema slots that home. The game was just laggy as hell, and, and you know, I can't blame anyone but myself. I was It was just affecting me, and I was really struggling to put passes together. And, um, yeah, it was just all in all a bit of a nightmare. Uh, so we go down 2-0 at half-time, guys, and I was, uh, you know, fair play to my opponent. He was the, be the, the better opponent the better guy at the time and I, I, again I was just really struggling but I thought right let's have a word myself at half time you know I can't let this lag get to me so a little bit later on in, in, in the second half pick up the ball here Nine Golan puts it onto his left his weak foot and absolutely smashes that one home top left hand corner and I thought right game on here we go get your head down forget about the lag and just play a bit of FIFA Again, this guy kind of went to a bit of shit like I did in the first half. Loses the ball there. Barty picks it up. Quadrado stops that home and makes it 2 all in the 70th minute. So at this point, I'm thinking, right, definitely game on. I've got a real chance to win it. Just got to get a level one. And, uh, and you know, keep defending well. And, uh, and we should see this to bed. So pick up the ball here in the uh, literally a couple of minutes after that goal. Barty doing work for me again down that right-hand side. Tries to get past him here, picks up the ball, and he's just playing silly passes. I play this into Higuain. Higuain takes a shot, and then the Signe once again is there to mop up uh, the spilled shot from the goalkeeper. So 3 2 in the 72nd minute. I thought, right, not long, see this game out, and then we've won that for Tis Konopianka. So I was uh, buzzing at this stage, but guys, as you, as you well know, it's not always that simple. So as we go into. Um, the 83rd minute here, he picks up the ball with Clichy into Tolisso. Benzema drops his shoulder, plays it into uh, Tolisso, and he slots that one home. Free all. So now I'm starting to panic a little bit. 85th minute, not long to go. Is the tie's going to turn and get a comeback? But do you see Zapata uh, picks up the ball into Bernier in the uh, 89th minute, and uh, Higuain just there to slot that one home. Lovely finish with the outside of his foot. And uh, yeah, I was ecstatic to be fair. I really thought I was going to lose this game. The lag was getting to me, but I made a comeback. He made a comeback, and uh, I, I managed to get one ahead right on in the 89th minute. Lovely ball into Higuain, and he just kind of, kind of toe pokes that with the outside of his foot and slots that one home. And as you can see, guys, we were overall winners of the tournament. That's how it finished. Managed to see out the game. And uh, yeah, we pick up our, our, our footies Conor Bianca, which uh, I was really excited about. But then kind of afterwards, I was trying to fit him into teams and it just wasn't working. It's hard to get strong links with anyone decent with him. Um, but a nice card to pick up. And uh, yeah, really ecstatic about that, guys. So uh, that's going to be kind of the end of the, the video for today, guys. Obviously, if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button like share comment let me know what you think let me know how you guys have got on but this was my first attempt and i managed to pick up that uh for tease uh conan Priyanka, which was awesome don't forget a uh, link to my second channel which is gaming channel will be in the comment section below and uh, i'll see you guys next time